I just made a center build that's so good, it needs to be banned. A build with 99 strength so you can manhandle literally everybody, even if they're in better position, gets insane rebounding stats paired with an 84 vertical so every time you go for a rebound you're jumping out the gym, a 92 pass accuracy so you can throw literal dots from the paint all the way to the opposite corner for a free 3, and pair that with an 81 steal in silver energy interceptor you can absolutely hawk every single defensive lane and then toss it all the way down the court to your teammate for a free three which is effectively a six point spread and on top of all that gets a 92 standing dunk rating so your slips and your contact dunks whether with meter or without rival the big diesel himself this build is so good i went on an 88 game win streak during the poseidon event against literal 2k league pros so y'all make sure to drop a like and drop a sub with notifications on while I change how you play NBA 2K24 forever. This video is sponsored by NBA Infinite. NBA Infinite is a free-to-play player versus player mobile game where you can collect your favorite star players and build your very own dream lineup. Of course, with the final goal being to create your own dynasty and bring home a championship. Each NBA player you collect has their own set of exclusive skills waiting for you to master and level up in your own way. You can decide to shoot threes from deep like Steph or drive to the paint and dunk it home like Giannis. Whatever it takes to bring home the finals trophy. And the best part is from now until the game launches, NBA Infinite is hosting a sweepstakes where you could win autographed merch from your favorite NBA star or even tickets to a regular season game of your choice for the 2024-2025 season. To enter, all you gotta do is click the link below, add your email address, and pre-register for NBA Infinite on your mobile device. So y'all, right now, stop what you're doing and click the link in the description to pre-register for NBA Infinite today and secure your spot in the sweepstakes for a chance to win big. Thank you to NBA Infinite for sponsoring this video, and let's get into it, y'all. Alright y'all, now for the build. You're gonna go to create your own build, and you can go right or left-handed, it doesn't matter, I like to go right. And this build is obviously gonna be a center. The height is going to be 6 foot 10, the weight is going to be 258 pounds, and the wingspan is going to be a massive 7 foot 8. And trust me, all of this is for a reason, and we're going to get into it. Now the first thing we're going to start with is the pass accuracy, which is going to be a massive 92 rating, which of course gives you Hall of Fame break started. This badge is ridiculously overpowered this year. Every time I get a rebound after the other team misses, my team is getting a free three before they can even realize what's happening. Before every game, I tell my guards to just run. If the ball goes up, you run down the court and trust that I got you. Because once I get a rebound, or even better, whenever I get a steal, I can literally throw the ball from the paint to the opposite left corner on a perfect dot like I'm one foot away from them when I'm literally making the farthest pass in the entire game. I can't even begin to explain how demoralizing it's gotta be for the other team, especially when I get a steal and throw that pass. And speaking of steals, let's talk about the defense. First off, our steal rating is going to be an 81 overall rating, which is insane to have on a center build. And we're doing this, of course, for Silver Interceptor. I tested both Bronze and Silver Interceptor on my center builds, and I absolutely cannot go without Silver Interceptor ever again. The way you're able to absolutely hawk lanes with Silver Interceptor is absurd, not to mention with a massive 7 foot 8 wingspan and a 6 foot 10 frame. If a pass is anywhere in your vicinity, you're picking it off and chucking it down the court on a bullet pass to your wide open teammate, which is essentially a 6 point swing because you stop them from potentially getting a 3 on one end and your team gets a 3. And not to mention how crazy these steals get once we upgrade our vertical, which trust me, our vertical is going to be extremely high on this build. But continuing the defense, we're going to go a 78 block and a 66 interior for bronze anchor and i can already hear y'all screaming at me in the comments section but multiple tests have been ran on this badge and you get the best value on this badge at bronze and the absolute highest you should ever go on this badge is silver so if you're a little scared to go bronze anchor and you want to tweak this build a little bit you could go for silver anchor for sure but i'm telling you i went on an 88 game win streak against the best 2k players in the world because every tryhard was playing that event and i had zero 
issue stopping people in the paint the entire time. While y'all were scarfing down Thanksgiving dinner, I was literally on 2K getting snatch blocks. Between bronze anchor and your vertical rating that we'll get to later, I promise you, you will never get bullied on this build. Now y'all seen me snagging in the clips. We have a massive 93 offensive rebound and an 85 defensive rebound. Y'all seen in my previous build videos, I used to go 99 offensive rebound because I thought it was needed. But luckily for us, all you need is gold rebound chaser. You see the animations I'm getting where there's one person or even two people in the paint already boxing out and I just fly from the free throw line and grab the rebound for my team. Which once again is another three point swing because I also have Hall of Fame post playmakers so once I get the rebound and I dish it out to my teammate, they are not missing. And if they somehow find a way to miss again, I'm probably getting a second offensive rebound and kicking it out to a different teammate. I can't explain to you how confident I am in this build's ability to rebound, defend, and create offense for your team all at the same time. I'm not gonna lie, you'll get a better picture once we finish out the build, so let's keep going. To finish out our defense, our perimeter defense is gonna be a 44. This is simply just so we can get contest if we have to rotate out the paint, which on the 88 game win streak, again, we were playing competitive players. I had to guard the corner and the wing at the exact same time, and you can see me swinging with my massive speed and my massive wingspan and just getting insane contest when I'm all the way deep corner and I'm getting contest on the right wing. I'm telling y'all, bro, I have not missed with a center build yet y'all are going to love this build now i keep talking about the vertical so let's finish out the physical so y'all can get a better idea of what we're working with our speed is going to be maxed out at a 70 70 speed on a build this big is insane and you can definitely feel it bro like i said i'd be swinging on defense i'd be running the break on offense it is just a beautiful thing to not feel like you're running in mud when you're on a build this big our acceleration gonna be maxed out at a 61 our strength is also gonna be maxed out at a 99 Nine overall rating which gives us hall of fame box out beast hall of fame bulldozer but most importantly gives us hall of fame brick wall and hall of fame a movable enforcer okay so first off my screens knock people down consistently bro it's not even fair i hold b and the game decides i'm a better player and their lockdown just drops to the ground that or he gets stuck on me like he's literally running into a brick wall and hall of fame a movable enforcer is the biggest what i like to call i own you badge in the entire game a lot of the times when I'm playing defense, guards like to switch me onto them because they think they have a better chance of scoring on me. Until they get literally boxed for 20 seconds. Between my speed and Hall of Fame move enforcer, if they ever touch me, they just bounce back off me. Not to mention, if anybody ever has a box out on me in the paint, I quite literally just throw them out the way. They outplayed me, got positioned, did everything they're supposed to do. And 2K just allows me to be like, nope, too bad, cry about it. It's my rebound now. And you might be thinking, it's because I have takeover. My takeover is playmaking takes so my shooters don't miss. I'm not even activating defense and rebounding take. If I activated defense and rebounding take, I could get 50 rebounds in a row with nobody touching me. But I personally like to activate playmaking so my teammates don't ever miss. But if you really want to ruin someone's day, activate defense and rebounding take on this build and just tell your teammates to shoot anything. You will get 15 rebounds in one possession and then everyone will just sit there and then probably quit after the possession is over. And finally, what I've been talking about for what seems like the past five minutes, our vertical is going to be a massive 84 overall vert which of course gives you silver chasing artist could be gold chasing artist if you opt into going silver anchor instead of bronze gold pogo stick and what will actually be either gold or hall of fame area wizard once we finish our finishing but more importantly the 84 vertical is going to give you all the dunk animations that you want in the game once we finish our finishing and it quite literally just lets you out jump every other center that's contesting you in the paint everybody i played against on that 88 game win streak had a seven foot or seven foot at one center. In every single game, I out-rebounded them, outscored them, and out-impacted them all together because my vertical is just higher. At seven foot, the highest vertical you can get is around a 74. I have 10 points higher on vertical, and it's not even maxed out. I could go even higher. There's just no need because when they jump, it looks like they have ankle weights attached to their ankles while I'm just flying right above them. And then to finish out physicals, our stamina is going to be a 92. Now let's finish out this build so you can really get the full picture. We're skipping shooting completely. We are an inside center build. And our standing dunk is going to be a 92 overall rating, which gives you Hall of Fame area wizard, gold rise up, gold precision dunker, and gold fast twitch. If y'all don't know, standing dunk meters are the most overpowered thing in the entire game. I don't 
don't even like doing them because of how cheesy they are but bro if you catch the ball in the paint off of a rebound off of a slip off of a pick and roll just normally and you hold RT and you flick up and down on your right stick you are catching a body a hundred percent of the time not only that but the green window is ridiculously huge it's bigger on standing dunks than it is for driving dunks nobody knows why it's just how it is so if you were afraid you were just gonna be a rebound and assist machine you could drop 20 points a game if you feel like it especially if you have a point guard who's more pass first and likes to hit your slip because between your 70 speed and your 92 standing dunk your slip is gonna be way too quick to stop because of fast twitch rise up all of these good badges and even if a defender happens to get in front of you they're just gonna end up getting dunked on if you do the right stick and just so y'all know if you don't like doing the right stick like me you still catch bodies just pressing x or square which surprised me because i haven't seen that on driving dunks ever but on standing dunks you could literally just press x or square and you will still get a contact dunk so yeah 92 standing dunk is the wave driving dunk we're gonna go a 73 just so we get bronze posterizer and then our driving lane is gonna be a 53 and to finish it off our close shot is gonna be a 57 so you are a six foot ten seven foot a wingspan center build that has a 99 strength so you're pushing everybody out the way your screens are knocking people down you have an 84 vertical so you're jumping out the gym on this beefy build 93 offensive rebound 85 defensive rebound whether or not you get the rebound should not even be a question in your mind an 81 steal so you could play lanes whenever you make a read so this build is really for the smart centers as well you could really show your skill gap and show that you're really better than everybody else. A 92 pass accuracy for every time you get a rebound, a steal, a stop, anything. You could just chuck it down the court and your teammates get free threes so they're gonna love playing with you. And on top of all that, if you feel like scoring, you could just slip the screen and go dunk on the other team center to make him quit the game, bro. Literally an all around menace of a build. I cannot stress how much I love this build. This is my main inside center build. I even deleted my seven foot one popper because the way I see it, there's no no reason for me to have to shoot if everybody's getting boxed i'm hitting the slip and getting a free two and if they hit me on the slip and they all collapse i could just dish it right back out with my 92 pass accuracy for a free three there are no limits to this build and i'm telling you it is so fun dogging people out especially in the rec and if you make this build you get shades of ben wallace mitchell robinson rudy gabbert they don't really don't matter it's just cool to see and you get the build name break starter of course because you have the 92 pass accuracy and finally y'all the dunk packages i've equipped on this build is pro standing big contact dunks elite big man contact dunks literally every single standing dunk animation and for the signature dunks i have draymond green shaquille o'neal carl anthony towns and for alley-oops i have regular alley-oops and big man contact dunk alley-oops and a lot of y'all told me to start including what i would upgrade at 90 overall as you can see i'm a 95 overall like i said this is my main center build i use this anytime i'm playing center and i'm gonna keep using it anytime i play center but at 90 overall you literally want to max out everything in physicals everything in defense pass accuracy all the way up and the only thing you want to sacrifice on is your standing dunk at first so get your standing dunk as high as you can after you max out everything over here which i think is going to be around like 75 to like 85 somewhere around there and then work your way up from there because the contact dunk standing dunks is just going to be a nice addition later on what you mainly want to do right when you make your build is be able to stop people in the paint get steals on passes have 99 strength so you can bully everybody have your vertical maxed out so you're jumping out the gym be able to pass the ball down to your teammates on a dot whenever you get a board or a stop or a steal what you don't need off rip is to be able to yam on the center in the paint that's not needed it's really not necessary especially if you're playing random rec random rec you're probably not even gonna get the ball on your slip you're just gonna have to get out the mud off of rebounds so yo yo that's how i upgraded it personally I, I literally maxed out everything in physicals defense and pass accuracy and then i did my standing dunk last obviously i'm a 95 now so it's max but that's what i would do anyways y'all that's pretty much it thank y'all so much for watching i got a ton of build videos dropping make sure y'all drop a like drop a sub a notification on bro i got builds for every position i got some nba player builds coming out it's gonna be a fun time but anyways y'all thank you so much for watching i love you all and as always keep grinding Bally. 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 2K, we never be falling yeah. retro she never be calling still hitting shots while they steady be talking